Hello student, this is chapter 12 reproduction in plants. Reproduction. Reproduction means the production of a new individual from the parents is known as reproduction. Vegetative parts. The some plants have vegetative parts. Most of the plants have roots, stems and leaves. There are these are called the vegetative parts of the plants. Reproductive parts. Flowers perform the functions of the reproduction in the plants the flowers are the reproductive reproductive parts and seeds germinates from the new plants there are two types of the reproduction in plants sexual reproduction sexual reproduction involves the fusion of the males and female gametes in sexual reproduction new plants are obtained from seeds asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction, plants can give rise to the new plants without seeds. In asexual reproduction, new plants is produced from the roots, stems, leaves and buds. Sexual reproduction You may know flowers have reproductive parts. So, there are two reproductive parts. Stamen. Stamens are the male reproductive part of the flower. Pistil Pistil is the female reproductive part of the plant. Unisexual. In some plants, flower which contains other only pistil or only stems are called unisexual flowers. Examples corn, papaya and cucumber. Bisexual. Flower which contains both stamen and pistil are called bisexual flowers. Example mustards rose as you see in the figure stamen consists of anther and filament and pistil consists of stigma style and ovary and ovule anther anther contains polar grains which produces male gametes a pistil consists of stigma style and ovary ovary contains one or more ovules the female gametes or the eggs is formed in the ovule. In sexual reproduction, a male and a female gamete fuses to form a zygote. In plants, sexual reproduction is, com is uh, completed by the process called pollination. The transfer of the pollen from anther to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. Pollination are of two types self pollination and cross pollination self pollination if the pollen lands on the stigma of the same flower or the another of the same plant it is called a self pollination cross pollination when the pollen of a flower lands on the stigma of the flower of different plant or of the same kind is called a cross pollination as you may see in the figures the self pollination and cross pollination are different. Fertilization The cell which result after the fusion of the gametes is called a zygote. The fusion of the male and female gametes to form a zygote is called a fertilization. The zygote develops into a embryo. You may see in the figures the polar grains is changed through the pollen tube into the ovum and zygote is formed. Seed dispersal in nature, same kind of the plants grow of different places. This happens because the seeds are dispersed from different part places. Seeds and fruits of the plant are carried away by the wind, water and animals. Seed dispersal helps the plant to prevent overcrowding, avoid competition of for sunlight, water and minerals and invade new habitats. Vegetative Propagation Cutting, budding, fragmentation and spore formation are the vegetative propagation mode. Cutting Cut the branch of a rose or a champa with a knot. This piece of a branch is termed as a cutting. Bury the cutting in the soil. Cut the potato into the small portion each with an eye and bury them into the soil. This is scarce and also called eyes. Roots of some plants can also give the rise to the new plants. Some like sweet potato and dahila are some examples. Plants produced by the vegetative propagation takes less time to grow 
and bear flowers and fruits earlier than the those produced from the seeds budding in single celled organism like yeast the small bulbs like projections coming out from the yeast cell is called the bud and the process is called budding the bud gradually grows and gets detached from the parent cell and form a new yeast cell fragmentation slimy green patches in the ponds or in the stagnant water bodies there are algae when the water and the nutrients are available algae grows and multiply rapidly by fragmentation this process grow into the continues and they cover a large area in the short period of time spore formation spores are the asexual reproduction of bodies each spores are covered by the hard protective coat to with with and unfavorable conditions such as high temperature and low humidity a spore germinate and develops into a new individual plants such as moss and the ferns also reproduce please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for latest videos